Hi, hi everyone. So I hope I'm audible. Let me just check once. So before I start, let me introduce myself. I'm Vani Kari, biology educator at an academy. I'm an engineer with bachelor's and master's degree in biotechnology and a BA degree. Also a founder of a startup where I grow microgreens by vertical farming technology. So it doesn't show yet. Okay. I think now this is fine. All right. So join with us in Telegram for homework and class notes. You can join the channel Vani Kari ICSC class 9 and 10 biology. Okay. And the Telegram channel of an academy ICSC and ISC both. So this link you can find in the description box and uh, take up these like you know uh, any updates regarding the classes will be sent here. So we'll be conducting special classes on um, an academy platform okay so which are absolutely free so learn from your favorite educators for free engage with educators via polls clear your doubts in the live special classes and for the top special classes you can visit the link in the description okay so now an academy subscription feature you can learn live from the comfort of your home unlimited access to all the courses will be there okay and uh, top educators so here you know different educators will come up with different courses so you will have access to all the courses once you take the subscription then top educators of india are going to take the classes in one platform that is an academy platform regular doubt clearing session will be done like you know after about every three session the fourth session will be our doubt clearing session so any doubt you have related to the topics that are previously covered so you can clear your doubt in this doubt clearing session okay and also this can be called answer writing session so if you have let's say so there are no doubts okay in that case maybe we can conduct a quiz or you know some three marks question five marks question from the selena can be discussed in this session also so this which will be a completely uh, interactive session where you know you will be uh, asking a doubt and you know educators so this special class i mean this class is kept especially for clearing the doubts of all these students then complete syllabus will be covered mentorship and guidance is given study material is given the practice test is given live test series is given and also you will have access to batch courses okay so in that case uh, so now depending on one second yeah so now you know uh, so some students prefer to learn in english and some will uh, prefer to learn in hindi so this is completely your choice like you know you can go with the english batch or maybe a english batch so all these features are anyway there with the plus subscription and on top you will be having a daily practice section then weekly mock test series is there so live quizzes daily mcq and subjective test series also you will have access to okay so now an academy unsat so this is um, a scholarship test so you can see here an academy national scholarship admission test it is okay so this is an offline test for IE, iit okay so j double e and neat ug as well as class 9 and 10 so this will be conducted across 40 cities so you can find the link in the description for this you can enroll for these so up to 90 so this is on june 4th and 5th okay so up to 90 percent scholarship worth rupees 150 crore for an academy centers and online subscriptions then uh, top rankers are gonna win an iphone okay so this is there so this is not just one or two like top 40 are gonna win the iphone then test takers get an, an academy t-shirt so basically those who are taking a, a test so for them anyway an academy t-shirt will be given so you can enroll now and you can use the code vani so this is my code 
Vani YT. So with this, basically, you can enroll using this to get 10% discount. So last day to reg register is basically June 2nd. So before that, you can register for this one. So link you will find in the description. So let me just write it in. So you can find the link in the description and, um, you know, register for this particular test. So this is basically a scholarship test where you will be getting about 50, like, you know, 150 crores. So that is 90% scholarship that you would be getting. All right. So now, you know, um, with the plus subscription, like I told you all that there is a, a plus classes that we conduct, you know, a complete syllabus will be covered. So you will have access to all the courses. So you will have access to, you know, the courses from different educators as well as a badges. So depending on your comfort, you can learn from any of the educators or you can go for any of these batches all right so in that case so uh, you can see here so since this is the very beginning of your class night so you can try with 12 months of um, subscription okay so for 12 months it is 17,250 but with the referral code that is Vani YT okay so you will be getting 10% discount on the subscription so you can go for this um, or if you just want to try like how exactly this works so you can try with six months so those who are planning for class 9 as well as for class 10 so maybe you can try with 24 months so this is depending on your comfort or 18 months so this is completely your choice but don't forget to mention the referral code at the gift box there so that you know you will be getting 10 percent discount on the subscription so let's get started before that one second so let me just check this okay all right so pollination involving different flowers so this uh, so today we'll be discussing about mcqs like you know so mcqs are here so mcq um, on pollination and fertilization so you can just type in your answer here in the comment section all right so this is on pollination and fertilization chapter so pollination and fertilization chapter okay all right so let's get started so pollination involving different flowers so what is mentioned here different flowers of the same plant okay so this is with respect to pollination that you can see on different flowers just a second so there is this is disconnecting yeah okay so different flowers of the same plant so what might be the answer for this Am I audible? Okay. So now as this is a pollination and uh, just a second. So there is some issue I guess. One second. Yep. All right. So pollination involving different flowers of the same plant is basically so there are uh, you know self pollination is that cross pollination. So under self pollination we can find then is basically autogamy is there then there is gatinogamy. Why I am not able to see the cursor just a second. now it is fine okay so in that case pollination involving different flowers of the same plant so this one you know different flowers of the same plant is mentioned so that means it is a gatinogamy why because uh, it is anyway a monoecious plant that means you know the same plant itself is possessing the male flower as well as a female flower or it can be a bisexual flower itself so in that case you can see uh, there is a flower okay i mean the plant so now you know uh, let's say here is one flower and here is one flower so in that case what can happen 
the pollination you can see from the different plants like i mean different flowers of the same plant so here is this anther so from the anther the pollen grains are released and they are received by the stigma of this flower so in that case so it is within the same plant so we can say that the gatinogamy when we mention so functionally actually you know uh, naturally the pollination is not occurring so pollinating agents are required here okay so in that case pollinating agents so it can be wind or maybe it can be insect or you know if it is a aquatic plant so in that case water might also require so in that based on that so you know functionally gatinogamy we mentioned this as a cross pollination so this is functionally it is cross pollination but genetically if we are looking any idea what is genetically happening here so functionally this is cross pollination genetically we say that this gatinogamy is you know okay so this is genetically so genetically this one is a self pollination itself why this is self pollination genetically because the genetic makeup of this flower and the genetic makeup of this flower is going to be same so in that case you know since it is belonging to a same plant so genetic makeup in this one and this one it would be same and that's the reason we say that genetically it is self pollination so which can be considered under a self pollination itself but what is happening functionally since the pollinating agents are required <coughs> okay so we can see this as a cross pollination so moving on to the next question okay so when the pollen of a flower is transferred to the stigma of the another flower on the same plant so this is you know the same type of question in a different way okay so now they are talking it with respect to a pollen so any idea what could be the answer for this when the pollen of a flower is transferred to the stigma of the another flower of the same plant so again it is a monoecious plant so it is a gatinogamy itself so now the choose the correct statement from the following so clistogamous flowers always exhibit autogamy so chasmogamous flowers always exhibit gatinogamy okay then clistogamous flowers exhibit both autogamy and gatinogamy chasmogamous flowers never exhibit autogamy so what is asked is which one is the correct statement from the following is mentioned okay so you can see that uh, clistogamous what is the clistogamous so let me just write it here clisto okay so clistogamous is clisto is basically closed okay and gamy is basically a marriage okay so this one is a a marriage we can say so this is a closed marriage so that means what you can see in that case since this flower is never going to open up okay so the flower is never opening so the flower will remain closed itself so in that case the anther which is releasing a pollen grain so those pollen grains are released inside the flower itself and those pollen grains are directly you know uh, reaching the stigma so in that case um, clistogamous flowers always exhibit autogamy so this statement is given chasmogamous what is chasmogamy so let's see chasmo is basically open so what is the meaning of this that means this is open for the acceptance of the other pollens from the other plants like you know belonging to the same species again so they always exhibit gatinogamy need not be because it is bisexual flower is there okay so in that case self pollination is also possible that is autogamy is also possible gatinogamy is also possible xenogamy is also possible so this statement goes wrong okay and you can see that the clistogamous flowers exhibit 
both autogamy and gatinogamy is mentioned okay so is this right because we always say that the clistogamy since it is a closed flower so it exhibit a autogamy but not a gatinogamy so in that case this also goes wrong okay then there is chasmogamous flowers never exhibit autogamy so in that case so this there is a chasmogamous flower like you know this is a open flower so it will never exhibit autogamy nothing like that it can if it is a bisexual flower it can exhibit autogamy so only statement that is correct is this one so that is clistogamous flowers always exhibit autogamy so moving on to next one just a second So what exactly is the meaning of this one? So what is Zeno or what is uh, Gatino? Any idea? So Gami we saw already. Zeno is okay. So let me just write what is Gami. So Gami is marriage. Okay. So that is the marriage. Then what is Zeno here? So Zeno is basically you know stranger or we can say stranger marriage. So this is a stranger. Then we can say Clistochasma I already told. So Gatino is basically a neighbor. Okay. So this means a neighbor. So in that case, depending on a type of a pollination that can be seen. So there are a lot of changes that can be seen. So now in which of the following pollination is autogamous is asked. So there is a xenogamy, chasmogamy, then clistogamy and gatinogamy. So pollination is autogamous. Like you know, 100% sure that the autogamous only will occur so it is a clistogamy here all right so moving on to next one uh, xenogamy is cross pollination is that true so we said that the xenogamy is basically you know stranger marriage so xeno xeno is what xeno meaning is a stranger okay so stranger marriage means because you know it is not going the pollination is not occurring in the same plant so in that case there has to be a different different plant and the transfer has to occur from one plant to the other plant so in that case xenogamy is cross pollination so that means it is true okay so the cross pollination itself can be seen in there okay so moving on to next one so pollination is an important step in dash reproduction so what is that reproduction so there is a, a sexual reproduction then there is sexual reproduction so both is mentioned and none okay so which option is correct here pollination is an important step in what reproduction so you can just type in your uh, a b c d whatever it is your answer so what exactly is pollination so this is you know it is a, a pre-fertilization event it is okay so what happens before the fertilization occurs so that we call as a pre-fertilization event so that means if one before a fertilization occurs so pollination is a must okay so only for pollination occurs so there is a fertilization so be like you know be it a autogamy be it a gatinogamy or uh, be it a xenogamy itself that is allogamy itself so in all these cases pre-fertilization event is basically you know um, before the fertilization occurs pollination has to occur so where does the fertilization event occur so that is in a sexual reproduction so pollination is an important step in the sexual reproduction okay so you know fertilization is what basically fusion of male and female gamete so male and female gamete involvement you can see only when there is a sexual reproduction that is occurring so this is the answer all right okay so now we <coughs> all right so which of the following plants so that produces a chasmogamous and clistogamous flower so both are being produced in that case 
so chasmogamous is also produced and clistogamous flower is also produced so which is that example for this one so you can just take it as one two three four or maybe a b c d so next time now i'll conduct a menti quiz okay so next time the mcqs uh, which are there like for pollination or maybe a fertilization so i'll take up a menti quiz so this time anyway i'll uh, just um, log in this okay so you can just go through this so next we'll conduct a menti quiz uh, for all the questions that are there Okay, so here this is, you know, uh, now chasmogamous flower, clistogamous flower. So that is a open flower and a closed flower. So you can find both in viola and oxalis and comalina and all of the above. So let's say there is a plant. So this is a soil level and you can see a root system here. So let's say this is a root system and here above it is a a shoot system okay so here on top you can see a flower that might be there so you can see there is a closed flower so chasmogamous flower you can find at the root or maybe here you know by the soil so that you can find so that is actually a clistogamous flower so this one can be the clistogamous flower okay which is actually hidden not completely visible so this one is a chasmogamous flower so if there are no uh, fertilizing agent or what we call pollinating agent so if the pollinating agents are not there so in that case pollination is not occurring so somehow the plant will make sure that it is forming a seed so in that case the chasmogamous flower which you see here okay so this one is a chasmogamous flower so that is an open flower so it will make sure like you know clistogamous flower is also the chasmogamous so here if the pollination is not occurring so these clistogamous anyway will make sure that the pollination occurs and seed set is also assured so there is a seed set like you know seed formation can be seen in there all right so moving on to next one yeah so this i already said so genetically and functionally self pollination is cent percent ensured okay so this is genetically as well as functionally self pollination is cent percent ensured so that is with seed formation even in the absence of pollinators so that is bisexuality the dye cleaning okay then there is gatinogamy and clistogamy is mentioned so what could be the answer for this so for gatinogamy i was just saying that one second So, you know, for gatinogamy, I was just saying that this is basically gatinogamy when we mentioned. So, it is not, um, uh, we can say that functionally it is any anyway cross pollination that occurs. But genetically it is a self pollination because the pollination is seen in the same plant but the different flowers. Here what is mentioned genetically and functionally self pollination, okay. So genetically and functionally it is a self pollination where you can see 100% ensured with the seed formation. So seed set is assured so that can happen only in a clistogamous flower. So this is the right one. So clistogamy is the answer for this one okay so moving on to next one the only type of pollination that brings genetically different types of pollen grain to stigma is so only type of pollination that brings genetically different types of pollen grains to the stigma is chasmogamy clistogamy gatinogamy and xenogamy there no idea So you can see there is chasmogamy mentioned, clistogamy, gatinogamy and xenogamy. So in all these cases, so only type of pollination that brings genetically different types of pollen grains, that is to the stigma is. So where exactly do you see that? So it is allogamy. So in your book it is mentioned 
uh, you know allogamy for a xenogamy so we can just write it as a allogamy uh, as well okay so xeno here is basically a stranger okay so there is a stranger then you know gamy so that is a Two different plants are there which are completely like you know don't know each other. So just a stranger way marriage. So gammy is a marriage there. So it is a stranger marriage. So that can be called as xeno or allogamy there. All right. So moving on to next one. Which of the following is false about xenogamy? Yes. Any doubt? Are you all understanding? Okay, so now which of the following is uh, false about xenogamy? So it is the transfer of pollen grains. So what exactly is happening? The transfer of pollen grain you can see. Okay, from anther to the stigma of the another plant of the same species. Okay, so this is with respect to xenogamy is mentioned. It produces genetic variation. Okay. It is genetically and ecologically, that is basically functionally, cross-pollination itself, okay. Then it occurs in a clistogamous flowers. So, what is asked here? What is false? In, you can see here the transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma. So, that is there, okay, of completely different plant itself but the same species. So, that we call as a cross-pollination. So, allogamy we call it, okay. Then genetic variation, genetic diversity can be seen there. So genetic diversity, why it is happening? So this is basically, you know, uh, in order to make these species adapt to a new environment. So genetic diversity is important. So in that case, you can see a genetic variation. Then it is genetically and ecologically cross-pollination itself. It occurs in a clistogamous flower. So you can see it in a a closed flower so that is a clistogamous flower so in that case false one is this one because in clistogamous flower always a autogamy is seen so there is no xenogamy okay so only autogamy can occur so this one is the false statement which is mentioned there okay so moving on to next one which of the following is the most common abiotic pollinating agent Which is that most common one? Alright, so which of the following is the most common abiotic pollinating agent? So, insect you can find, birds and bats, wind and water is mentioned here. So, you know, wind is always there. Like, you know, even a little amount of wind can transfer this pollen grain. So, insects can be there, but you know, it is again depending on condition, like where exactly this plant is growing. But there is no condition for a wind. Like, you know, usually you will find a wind. So, in that case, this is the most common abiotic pollinating agent. So, since they have as abiotic, so insect again when we mention, you know, this can be abiotic. This is a living one. So, these are water, then wind, bird and bat again abiotic one. So, only these two come under abiotic and wind is the most common one among all of this. Okay. So, long filament thread. Okay. So, long filament is thread protruding at the end of the young cob of maize. So, what is that young cob of maize? So, now, you know, if you observe a young cob of a maize. So, let's say this is a green covering that you find in there. Okay. So, then you find a corn inside this. So, basically a corn will be there. So, let's say. So, there is a corn here as such. Okay. So, now, you know, you can see a style. So, basically, there is, a, okay. So, let's say this is a cob now. A corn cob is found. All right. So, in that case, so you can see that, you know, there is a style. So, this one, the long filamentous thread. So, what is that long filamentous thread that you can see, which is, you know, falling out as such. So, maybe, you know, 
something like this you can see a hair like structure okay so what exactly is this hair like structure that you see in a corn cob okay so in corn cob so what exactly is that so long filamentous thread okay so this is the long filamentous thread protruding at the end of the end cob of the maze r so anther is mentioned so is this anther is this style is this ovary or is this just a hair so what is it so this one i will say what to, what this could be so you can just have a look at this one so anyway this is style okay so this is style which is you know uh, you can find a stigma there at the tip but this protruding and what is this so that is actually the style so you have seen a stigma style and ovary right so there is a stigma there is a style so this is the style and you can find a ovary there so in that case so there is a stigma style and ovary so now this part is style okay so this style when we mentioned so this corn cob which is this so that is having a, a style so which are protruding from the corn cob so this is you know before the uh, seed formation so this was even before the seed formation you can see this formation okay and after that anyway this is completely you know uh, seeds are there here like completely this will be of uh, seeds itself so in that case uh, uh, the style is actually giving a way for this particular pollen grain to germinate and then you know there is a fertilization that can be seen so which of the following is similar to autogamy but requires pollinators what is that <laughs> okay so this one which of the following is similar to autogamy so that means so two flowers so now one second so now you know this one let's say there is a plant okay so this is a plant where this plant is having a flower here okay so let's say here is one flower that you can find okay so this is the flower that is there all right so same way one second So now you know in this flower what is happening is so what is mentioned which of the following is similar to autogamy so in autogamy what will happen so there is a transfer that is occurring here itself but you know this requires a pollinators so that means there is one more flower over here so for transferring from here to here pollinators or pollinating agents are required so pollinators are required so with the help of pollinators so basically you know transfer can be seen so functionally what it is so it is similar to autogamy so we cannot say this is autogamy because this one is autogamy okay and the other one so this one what you see so this is actually a gatinogamy okay so this one can be the gatinogamy and between the different plants so let's say there is one more plant over there uh, okay so let's take this so there is one more plant as such and you can see there is a flower formation here at the tip so in that case you can see the transfer over here so that is from this flower to this flower so here this can be considered as a xeno or a, or a allogamy okay so that means now here you know it is similar to autogamy but requires a pollinators is basically the gatinogamy all right so wind pollinated flowers are so what are those so whether they are small whether like you know small brightly colored producing large number of pollen grains so this is correct or the small producing large number of dry pollen grains okay then large producing abundant nectar and pollen small producing nectar and dry pollen so in all of these so which is that correct one So this one is you know small producing large number of dry pollen grains so brightly colored goes wrong here okay so rest of the things you know anyway is producing large number small is correct so this goes wrong 
so they are not large here producing abundant nectar production does not occur and the pollen is anyway being produced abundantly so small producing nectar so this also goes wrong so only statement which is correct is small producing a large number of dry pollen grains so this is the correct answer because you know why large number of pollen grains are being produced then so that you know it should basically in case of wind pollinated flowers so basically wind is the one which is carrying so through the wind wherever they are going and falling the pollen grains so you know it would be mostly of waste itself so now if the pollen grain is reaching the stigma specifically so in that case this can be helpful so that pollination has occurred the fertilization can be seen but here but here in this case the wind pollinated flowers when we mention so they are anyway smaller itself producing large in number okay so now a dioecious flowering plant prevents so what is dioecious so what exactly does it prevent so there is a gatnogamy xenogamy and autogamy xenogamy autogamy gatnogamy clistogamy and xenogamy so which is the right one here should i make this questions with larger next class so let me just check that yeah it is not clearly visible no i'll just make it a little bigger next time So this one is, uh, you know, a dioecious flowering plant prevents gatunogamy and xenogamy is mentioned. So dioecious plant is what? Two plant bodies are there. Okay. So two plants, two different plants of the same species, having, you know, uh, so there is two different plants are there means two flowers have to be there. So in that case, autogamy and gatunogamy cannot occur because. this can have um, you know the male flower and the other flower so let's say this is one plant now and this is one plant so two different plants are there so let's say here the male flower you can find and this one is a female flower so mainly with respect to unisexual flowers so in that case you can see that the autogamy and gatunogamy gatunogamy is prevented so only possibility is xenogamy that can be seen so only xenogamy can occur so rest of them anyway cannot occur okay so flowers which have single ovule in the ovary and are packed into inflorescence so these are usually pollinated by so what exactly is inflorescence so inflorescence is basically arrangement of flowers on the floral axis okay so inflorescence you can see here inflorescence is mentioned so that is a bunch of flowers itself so many flowers are arranged on the same floral axis so let's see mm okay so i'll draw here itself so now this is the floral axis all right and then you can see there are stalk that we call as a pedicel so now you know for all this so there is basically arrangement of flower you can see on to this okay so there is a flower arrangement that can be seen so now you know here you can find many of the brands so it is like you know not just one particular um um you know we can see that many different not different in the sense again they are not fused one so let me just show you like you know all of them might be uh what example i can give so for inflorescence maybe yeah with respect to corn cob itself or maybe it can be a maize plant okay and the so that is maize plant the wheat plant okay jowa plant so all these can be considered so in that case you can see many of the flowers which are arranged here on the floral axis so you can find a bunch of flowers there okay so bunch of flowers like you know group of flowers you can find 
and these flowers you know this itself we call as a inflorescence so here you know for pollination of such flowers so wind is the one which will be carrying the poll i mean which will be carrying the pollen grain so in that case so this one could be the wind okay so for which have like you know flowers which have single ovule in the ovary and are packed into the inflorescence are usually pollinated by the wind in here so wind pollination is common in lilies grasses orchids and legumes so which is that where do you find this is like you know common wind pollination so wind pollination you can see in grasses like you know maize plant so since there is arrangement of inflorescence then maybe you can see it in a, a millet okay so some of the millet plants or maybe we can say wheat or uh, we can say that the java okay so in all these cases basically wind pollination is common so that is grasses so all these are grasses only so belonging to the grass category so you can uh, see if you observe the leaf of these that is maize or maybe a millet or maybe a wheat so in all those cases you can see a parallel venation okay so there is always a parallel venation that you can see so these are actually gra grasses okay so grasses is where you can find the wind pollination where you can see small pollen grain that is produced and large number of pollen grains are produced here okay so lilies orchids legumes so depending on where they are present so there is a water lily also okay so now depending on where it is present so there are different pollinating agents so here mainly for grasses it is wind itself okay so moving on to next one rewards and attractants are required for entomophily then clistogamy animophily hydrophily so do you know the meaning of each of these like what exactly is entomophily or clistogamy animophily or hydrophily philly is what any idea what exactly is philly so philly is basically you know uh, uh, like you know we can say a love or maybe affection so that means through the insect so entomo is insect so through the insect the pollination occurs so that we call as um, entomophily okay so clistogamy is basically clisto meaning is closed so meaning of clisto i'll just write it this side so clisto meaning is closed gamy is what gamy is marriage so that means this flower which was earlier you know so this will never open up the flower will never open up so this will remain always closed so whatever anther like you know anther is this so let's say here this is a flower now here inside this flower only you can find a stigma style and ovary so let's say this is a stigma style and here is this ovary and here the anther is there okay so you can find the anther over here so this anther releases the pollen grain and that will be reaching there itself so that is a clistogamy where you can see a closed marriage that is marriage we are seeing because pollination is occurring okay animophily is with respect to wind so that is pollination through wind and here this is pollination through water so in all these cases we can say that the rewards and attractants are required for entomophily insects will get attracted only if a good uh, like you know scent is produced or if a, a large flower which is clearly visible or maybe we can say that you know when we mention about the entomophily so this should be able to produce the nectar the color like you know the petal should be attractive basically the flower should be attractive so that the <laughs> insect goes there for the nectar okay so in all these cases lot of energy or lot of nutrient is consumed by the entomophily so that i mean consumed by the flower for the entomophily to occur so in that case the rewards and attractants are required for this one okay so moving on to next one okay so let's see this which is the world's largest pollination pollinator any idea which is that world's largest pollinator
okay so what is the world's largest pollinator so it is black and white rough lemur okay so in that case the lemur is a prosimian uh, primate from the madagascar okay so this lemur has the strength to pull open the tough bract of the flower so tough bract of the flower can be opened all right so in that case they stick on their snout so this is the one so they'll stick on their snout and tongue at that is to taste the nectar so this is basically opening a bract so that it can take up the nectar then the pollen sticking to their fur helps pollinate the next flower so in that case pollination can be seen because of what it can be seen so it is not just insect always so it could be human or it could be elephant or this could even be bird okay so whatever those you know can reach this plant so they all can carry these pollen grain and can transfer but this one is considered to be the world's largest pollinator so that is because you know it has a furry structure like furry appearance because of the hair growth and you know easily the pollen grains will get attached here and that's the reason so black and white rough lemur is actually the largest poll pollinator so at what temperature is pollen stored in pollen bank any idea so just like blood bank is there okay so same way pollen banks are also there okay so lot of athletes no so they'll take a pollen uh, so since pollen grain is actually nutritious so it is highly nutritious so in that case a lot of athletes take this pollen grain so they'll be collecting it from the uh, bank which is stored there and you know they'll be consuming it so in that case so pollen but you know not all of them are uh, you know okay with the pollen so some will have allergy for pollen like you no know, pollen entry so in that case body will start to fight it or otherwise anyway in general if we are mentioning so pollens are stored in a bank so that is a pollen bank so that is in minus 196 degrees celsius so you can see this is a liquid nitrogen so pollen grains are kept So here you can see that the pollen grains are kept in a liquid nitrogen. So this is kept in a liquid nitrogen. Okay. So this is used in many of the restaurants also that is to create this uh, particular you know uh, atmosphere or environment. Then you know this is basically stored in liquid nitrogen in the pollen bank. The temperature of the liquid nitrogen is maintained at minus one ninety six degree. So it is maintained at minus one ninety six degree there. so from among the situations given below choose the one that prevents both autogamy and gynogamy so which is that from among the situations given below okay so choose the one that prevents autogamy and gynogamy so monoecious plant bearing unisexual flowers dioecious plant bearing only male or a female flower monoecious plant with bisexual flower and dioecious plant with a bisexual flower so in that case what is mentioned here the one that prevents the autogamy and gynogamy that we need to choose here okay so this one is basically dioecious plant so dioecious plant is what two different die is two so two different plants again if it is bisexual no so there is a chance of autogamy that can occur or maybe a gynogamy is also possible so if a dioecious plant is there bearing only the male flower and there is another dioecious plant which is bearing only the female flower so in that case autogamy and gynogamy can be prevented so this would be the right answer okay so moving on to next one all right so why are petals unique in shape order color etc
idea so this is mainly attraction is the main thing but what by attraction has to occur so this is mainly for the pollination so agenda itself is a pollination so attraction will occur so why attraction occurs so that is to make sure that the pollination is occurring so we can go with this answer for this okay so what is self pollination yep so what exactly is self pollination there so pollen of a flower falling on another flower okay so this is pollen of a flower is there which is falling on the another flower so that we call as a self pollination or pollen of a flower falling on the stigma of the same flower okay uh then you know the pollen of the flower falling of the stigma of another flower of the same plant then pollen of a flower falling on any flower so in that case which is the self pollination here okay so this is basically pollen of a flower falling yeah so this is pollen of a flower falling on the stigma of the same flower so that is basically let's say there is a flower okay so there is a flower and this flower when we mention so basically you know the pollen grain is there and i mean anther is there so it will start releasing the pollen and here itself the stigma might be there so this can reach this over here so in that case that is the self pollination or which can also be called as autogamy so pollination in lotus is by water by wind by insect and all of this so which is that so pollination in lotus is by wind okay oh sorry uh, one second so i'll this yeah so pollination in lotus is by insect actually so even though the lotus is found in the water but water pollination is not occurring okay so there is no water pollination occurring because lotus is actually a a colorful flower okay so this is what so this is a colorful flower which you know produces a scent and all so there is a scent production as well so that is to attract the insect okay so this is why is it all occurring so this is to attract insect so that is beetle and all we can say no so in that case by insect only the pollination that can be seen in a lotus okay uh so dioecious flowering plant prevents both so this is autogamy and uh, gynogamy which we already discussed all right then which one of the following statement is not true which statement is not true here so pollen grains of some plants cause severe allergy and the bronchial afflictions in some people okay the flowers pollinated by flies and bats secrete full order to attract them honey is made by bees that is by digesting pollen collected from the flowers and the pollen grains are rich in nutrients and they are used in the form of a tablet as well as a syrup so this is the one which is not true because you know it will start basically the uh, honey bee when we mention so it will start collecting the nectar okay so it will start collecting nectar and this nectar so some digestion will be done once it takes it inside and you know it will vomit it out in the comb so in that case honey is made by the bees itself so that is right by digesting pollen so it is not the pollen digestion it is basically a nectar changes sardon so which can be collected from the flowers so gynogamy involves fertilization of a flower by the pollen so that is from another flower of the same plant fertilization of a flower by the pollen from the same flower okay then okay so then fertilization of a flower by the pollen from the from a flower of the another plant in the same population fertilization of a flower by the pollen from the flower of the another plant belonging to a distant population so in that case only this option can be right so fertilization of a flower so that is by the pollen from the same flower so this could be the gynogamy or you can just write it from another flower of the same plant so this is the right answer okay 
so advantage of cleistogamy is so no dependence of pollinators so pollinating agents are not required so you can see the term is included here which mentions which mentions vivipari okay so that means even before the seed is produced now you can see that everywhere here the seed is still there in the fruit and you can already see that the you know uh, from the fruit itself from the seed which is there so there itself the plant is arising so this can be you know this you can see in many different things so this is with respect to seed okay so seed is not separated from the plant right? but already the fruit i mean uh, the plant production so that is the baby plant is has started to grow here okay so the term is why we parry so rest of them so you can see this one so why we parry is the term for that but the advantage of clistogamy when we mention so since pollinators are not at all required as this is a close flower so pollination will occur so this is the right answer so which one of the following statement is correct here so you can see there gatinogamy involves the pollen and the stigma of flowers of the different plant okay then cleistogamous flowers always autogamous xenogamy occurs only by wind pollination chasmogamous flowers do not open at all so which would be the right one here any idea so now you know what exactly is autogamy what exactly is gatinogamy what exactly is xenogamy so xenogamy in selena it is mentioned okay so they have mentioned it as allogamy so this is what in selena textbook it is mentioned as allo okay so both are one and the same so it can be allogamy or xenogamy so here which of the following statement is correct correct it is asked okay so gatinogamy involves the pollen and stigma of flowers of the different plant is mentioned so is there a different plant no so in gatinogamy this is not possible so clistogamous flowers always exhibit autogamous condition or autogamy so this is the right one because since they are never opening so autogamy that is self pollination only has to occur then so xenogamy occurs only by wind so need not be so you know it can be by insect it can be by human elephant bird or water wind so depending on where it is living so xenogamy can occur by any of this so this statement also goes wrong and then chasmogamous flowers so they are open so they are open flowers itself so in that case chasmogamy or chasmogamous flowers do not open at all so this is also wrong so only statement which is correct is this one uh now both autogamy and gatinogamy are prevented in so examples are very important which are mentioned in your book already so both autogamy and gatinogamy are prevented so you can find in a dioecious plant so that is papaya is having a staminate flower so that is on a different plant so this is a staminate flower then you can also find a pistillate flower so that is also on a different plant so that means you can see that autogamy and gatinogamy are prevented so only possibility is xenogamy so rest of the plant like you know rest of the plants so they can have a bisexual flower so here in papaya it is not the case so there is a staminate flower and then there is a pistillate flower so only option is xenogamy to happen okay so we are at the end of this session okay i need to uh, conduct a special class for uh, class 10 now uh, okay so you can download an academy learner app so i'll just show you this uh, just a second so well i'll take for some other class again to discuss some of the questions that are there on fertilization as well okay so as the time is up i'll just end the session so before that let me see about the batches that we have so guardians batch which is going to start from 1st of june and here the mode of delivery is english the advantage of being in class 9 so let's say you are in a class 9 so you will be getting class 10 class 11 and class 12 subscription absolutely free 
once you go for nine like you know a class nine subscription so that means 12 month subscription you are taking for class nine so you will be uh, you can use the code vani yt to get 10 percent discount on the subscription and you know for 12 months it is basically uh, approximately 17,250 okay so this is the amount so but with the code Vani YT so you will be getting 10% discount and on top basically you will be having access to class 10 11 and 12 and you know classes as well so that is plus classes so introducing community so never miss on any update from your favorite educator get session notes and practice material share your feedback directly with the educator via poll so for this you know uh, if you need the notes like you know these questions from this particular session so I can upload it on my community so you can just download it from there okay so share your feedback directly with the educators via poll so this is Bucks Bounty so which is an opportunity for all learners to report any inappropriate content in the video so be the first one to report the uh, issue to claim a particular price okay then other than that so report any inappropriate content using the form in the description so see you all in the next session so thank you um, everyone all right so subscribe to our channel that is an academy icsc and isc boards click on bell icon to get notified about the classes like and share the video and download the unacademy learner app this pdf i can send on the community so all you need to do is download an academy learner app and you know style you know you can follow me on my community okay so my community link you can find in the description box so you can just go to this community link there okay so and follow me there all right so there i can send this note all right okay then so i'll uh, end this session so see you all in the next session bye bye everyone thank you so much